Well, hello once again guys, welcome to another episode. Uh, hopefully, guys, you, hopefully you guys can hear me through all the wind at the moment. Uh, you got quite a strong and uh, bitterly cold wind um, blowing down, so uh, it does push things around a little bit more. Um, fishing's going to be a bit more difficult. Down here at uh, Pigs Cottage for 48 hours, so we've uh, got a good amount of time down here to hopefully bite a bite. Um, nothing set up really at the moment. I mean, rods are out, but shelter and that sort of stuff's going to come last. Um, might put around a little bit, trying to find a decent swim. Fish fishing the S Lake today. So um, it should produce a fish. Apparently, it's been fishing really hard lately, though. So not, not many fish have been coming out. Uh, see, the cold weather we've been having hasn't been helping, but it's looking like it's, it's looking like it's going to brighten up um, quite soon, hopefully, uh, in the next few days. I'm down here today for these two sessions. I might pop down to Stow on Saturday. So today's Thursday, Friday, and hopefully, if I get up early enough on Saturday, I might go down to Stow for an overnighter. But um, yeah, everything's fishing at the moment, which is a good thing. Got one choddy, one on a uh, inline lead system, which is sort of like a solid bag system, but just about a solid bag, just simply just a single bottom bait. Just trying to buy the first bite at the moment, and uh, the other ones on a uh, combi rig, fished helicopter style. So um, yeah, all out on singles at the moment. No freebies just yet. That's when I find the uh, best spot I can uh, try and get a bite from at the moment. So uh, yeah, I'll update you guys soon.
right, so breakfast is finally cooking now. Uh, all rods are bang out where I wanted to be. Uh, changed the chod rig over on the bait to a uh, cook will pop up, bread squid tangerine. Um, just scattered out of hand for the chops over just for that, so that might buy a bite. But uh, yeah, apparently it's been very, very quiet. Quiet. I spoke to the uh, bailiff Jamie. Um, apparently, two blokes over there are fishing as well. They've had literally, they've had nothing. They've been here for one night so far. Uh, I think one of them's had a pickup, but. Um, other than that, very quiet. Just been watching the water. Seen a bit of fizz in there and again, so I've plucked the rod for that right now on the uh, combi rig. So uh, that might go off with any luck. Uh, should definitely be a sign of fish, um, although there is a lot of weed in here. Um, I fished it once before down here, and uh, yeah, the weed is quite thick. It's quite a thick, condensed sort of um, a, a silt weed. So uh, it is uh, sort of difficult to get a presentation now and again when it does plummet down into the depths of the weed, but you can definitely achieve it with a lighter lead setup. Um, also been told that uh, down the far end to the straight out in front of me here, um, there is uh, that's the most deepest part of the lake, it's around 12 foot. It's a little gravel sort of pity said sort of thing. Um, so that's sort of area I was going to head towards, but currently yeah, there's quite a path wind blowing right down to that corner, so I'm a bit wary. I'm gonna keep my eyes pulled, see if I can see anything, but um, I'm not too sure if the fish will be holding up in there at the moment. Um, although as well, there is a set of lilies, dead lilies at the moment, um, out in front of me where they'd normally be, and. Uh, I reckon that could be a very, very good place for uh, any fish to be holding up because obviously all the warmth from all the uh, materials such as the lilies and all the silt that's going to gather up down there will probably keep them quite warm down there. So um, depending on how it goes for now, I'm just going to uh, see what's over here and uh, try and get an idea where the fish might be right now. But um, there's plenty of slack water down where I'm fishing so they could be hanging around here on the back of the wind. But um, yeah, gonna see how things go, have some breakfast now and uh, have a little walk after that I reckon. Okay, so uh, a few more hours have gone past now, it's now uh, half one almost. So uh, it's started to snow at the moment um, it's quite it's sort of like a light dust and the snow come over and um, yeah it's got absolutely freezing cold can't for my hands can't for my feet uh, luckily the lake's still unfrozen so um, that's still a positive uh, I haven't seen any anything yet some sign wise of fish it's been keeping uh, keeping observation all over the entire lake you know walking up and down trying to see if I can spot anything but um, as of yet nothing really no fizzing uh, no shows no nothing but um, they did say it was quite quiet down here, so it's to be expected this, this time of year as well. We, you wouldn't actually, would you? I mean, it is spring, but um, when I was bringing a few of the rods in, I, uh, I did bring a bit of weed in now and again, and uh, there are a few uh, early spring naturals around, so uh, that can motivate a few of the fish to uh, start getting on the feed. Um, but one thing I did do before I actually came down here, uh, did a bit more research on the place, and uh, got a, a map of the actual place, uh, went on Google Images obviously, uh, I've done quite a few few lakes now that I go on, um, just get a, get an overview of the entire lake, you can see loads of like little spots now and again from uh, from the bird's eye view, you can see little gravel patches, I mean a lot of people are cotton on to the idea now, I mean it is a fantastic idea, um, it really does help you actually observe the entire lake, um, obviously you're going to know the uh, direction of wind, you're going to know every single um, position really that you're going to that you, that you want to gonna, that you, that you're going to want to know on the lake. Um, Obviously depths can now and again show up as well, darker patches of water compared to the lighter, lighter cloudier water you know. Um, <clears throat> there are a few gravelly features actually here on this lake, i just spin this around. I don't know if you guys can see down along this direction along here, there are three um, <clears throat> little gravel, gravel sections um, spread out, so uh, they're definite places for fish to hold up, but I'll recommend that in the summer more or less. Um, in the winter time the gravel does tend to get a bit colder, so uh, I'd say the fish tend to uh, tend to keep away from um, from that sort of area. They, they tend to like bed up into the silt and the weed and that sort of stuff. But this lake in general is a lot of weed. I reckon there's a good bit of silt as well in places. Obviously, there's the pads, so uh, they got a whole abundancy to uh, find little areas and just nestle in for the uh, for the winter time. But um, they should be coming out of their slog right now. Just can't seem to uh, find any signs of them at the moment. But uh, time to crack on, I reckon. And um, yeah, keep watching that also.
All right, so this is what I mean by the little spring naturals, uh, as you can see here. I think this is a little water louse. Um, just came in once again on a big thick lump of weed. Still got more here on my rig. Um, but luckily, looks like this section, we see the main the main section, the baited area, has stayed um, nice and uh, weed free. As you can see, you can most often tell this by uh, by just seeing if, uh, if the top section is still able to slide up and down without any weed covering the top of it. So uh, that seems to be a good, a good indication that I've managed to stay out most of the weed of that one. But um, yeah, they're definitely around. So uh, hopefully the fish will be too. A few toughies I've on the spots picking up a couple of the rigs which was uh, irritating because I had to go into the cold all the time and reach out the rods but um, nothing really, uh, still no signs. That wind's still persisting, it's absolutely bitterly cold at the moment. I decided to move, been up for about an hour or so now so uh, calm down to the end where all the wind's blowing to. Um, I've been told that it's around 12 foot down here so and the lilies are here too so I thought spread three rods out for a couple of hours and just keep uh, moving around different swims and try and find some fish. So uh, better get his rods out then. Alright. Right, so enough of what's going on down the other end, so I decided to move around a little bit more. Um, come in front of the island pretty much. Don't know if, don't know if you see behind me now, but um, I was pretty much fishing on the corner over over to this side over here. Decided to just come right in front of it now. It's a bit of slack water in front of the island, so uh, could be a uh, hold up area for some of the carp. But uh, yeah, as I said, I was down the other end. It is definitely deeper than the rest of the lake. You can definitely feel it on the drop. But uh, I just felt like there was nothing down there, you know. It just felt so cold, it was so, so busy. Even standing here right now, it's freezing cold. But uh, possibly behind that island where that slack water is, it could be a bit warmer for them. And uh, there is a good amount of shelter there too, so uh, that could be an area that, that, area that they might plot up in, so uh, just uh, wait and see now. Right, so once again moved out to another spot in the lake. Uh, this one, the back of the wind, uh, this is sort of the area where the other two blokes were fishing the other day. Uh, there's another guy down along the bank again who's uh, doing the day for now. And uh, yeah, sun's finally come out at least. Um, it's not too bad, it's warming up a little bit, which is absolutely brilliant. Uh, good amount of slack water in front of me. Now I've got two rods on chods and uh, one rig on a uh, pop-up sort of blowback style rig. I might show you that again later on. Um, depends how time goes, but uh, yeah, gonna have some breakfast now. It's uh, one o'clock, so breakfast time I reckon. <laughs> a bit late, but um, there you go. Fishing's taken over there. But um, yeah, let's get some food on now. I reckon. Okay. Right, well sorry I haven't been uh, updating you guys very recently, uh, wouldn't it be much fun, it would be quite boring just me talking all the time, so uh, it's now uh, half six, so the uh, sun's just about going down in the background once again, have a lovely sunset, uh, in a swim for now, open water, so uh, it's looking good, there's a lovely bit of slack water on over here now, it's, been, it's pretty much all the time now, so um, it's fantastic, uh, hoping for a bite next, positioned one rod, down towards these uh, reeds down to the right hand side of me. That's got two fish in sort of open water, not far out at all on chods, you know. Didn't scatter any baits this time or anything like that. Just kept things nice and simple. Um, did put a few, just a, a little handful of chops um, down to the right. Hopefully it might bring something out, but uh, early start in the morning, so I got hit hit the uh, bed quite early as well. Um, really hope for a fish tonight. If not, gonna go to the stove tomorrow. Um, got to get up proper early though, got to get over the fence over here as well because it's going to be shut. So uh, nice early, wake up at 5 o'clock, be off by 6 and I'll probably see you guys down at, down at Wolfram's Day if I don't get a fish. So um, probably see you then then, okay. Right, 
cars just quickly before I set off. Um, obviously, the session's come to an end now at Picks, so we're uh, heading back home. Well, say home, going back to Walthamstow now for a night session, so uh, Barrow's loaded up. Uh, frost is definitely settled in over the night, so hands are freezing cold, but uh, perseverance hopefully might pay off, so we're uh, yeah, gonna get over there now. So we'll see you guys in a little while. Right, so just got, got up here at Walthamstow right now. Uh, paid my money, done all that stuff, so we're uh, down on the lakes finally, back on the lower. Um, one, two, three are closing for now, for close season. So we uh, focus my attention on this bit of water for now. Uh, in one of the machinery swims, let's quickly spin you around. As you can see here, got quite a good amount of slack water in front of me. Uh, this can be one of the good wind that swims now and again. Uh, the fish do like to hang up in the sacks. And uh, with this quite chilly breeze on, on, the, on the water, it could be uh, well and truly in here, just nestled in between the snags maybe. So we're uh, just going to have a little walk around, more or less, just try and find a, a nice calm spot where it's quite warm, where it's going to get a lot of sunlight, you know. But uh, so far it's looking quite, quite a good bet, you know. Leave the barrow in here for now, and we're just going to have a little wonder, I reckon. So we'll uh, see you guys in a little while then. Okay, so I'm all set up in the swim that I wanted to be in at the moment. Um, yeah, gears all out to frosting. Uh, it was a frosty old night. Woke up, everything's completely, it's really hard frost in fact. Uh, head torch, hat was completely frozen solid, you know. Um, net frozen solid, you know. It wasn't, wasn't a very uh, good night at all for uh, any bites, I reckon. So well, that's why it's so quiet over there. But I come down here, the sun's really nice and up at the moment. Blisteringly hot, it feels. Well, not really that hot. It's still quite a cold wind blowing down, but uh, there's enough heat hopefully to motivate a few other fish in here. Um, I said so, all three rods are out, all on bottom baits. Um, just seen like a bad bite really, seen one shot already, which is fantastic. Um, always a positive indication when you can see something going on. So uh, hopefully they're definitely around. Um, chose to swim for a few reasons really. A, sort of this time of year, uh, this sort of wind in fact, there's quite a lot of slack water up here by the machinery swims and all along this sort of area so uh, it's quite snaggy as well so they, they do tend to hold up sometimes down this way but um, it's just about finding them really on this lake in fact um, just about persistency trying to figure out whereabouts they're going to be and all that sort of stuff but um, just had a bit of breakfast already um, so plenty of time just to watch the water now just going to have a good uh, Good watch and trying to figure out where a few of the fish are and bait up later on probably. So uh, see you guys, see you guys later on then. Okay, so it's been progressing quite slowly lately. Um, no fish out from anyone's swim just yet. Uh, keeping my eyes open again. Uh, it's been another show, so. Uh, in the right area it feels, uh, just giving the rods a little rest for the moment. Um, it's brought them back in for a couple of hours just so I can uh, get some bait out soon. Um, it's now coming up to quarter to, quarter to six, so um, I'll have the chance soon to put some bait out as soon as the gulls um, decide to leave. But uh, yeah, just been keeping my eyes open still, uh, rig wise. Just simple blowback rigs, well, what I've always used up here, you know, uh, tipping each piece off with a little bit of uh, plastic uh, popcorn, a uh, little bag of the uh, autumn pellet still, um, although obviously it isn't autumn, it's spring, um, I still decided to go for the, uh, the, the, the pellets of that choice purely because of the uh, smaller grain of, grains of pellets you get in there as well, as well as the large ones, I feel like the breakdown time in the PVA can, can um, be... Uh, speed it up even quicker the process of the melt so uh just thought I'd give that a go. Um of course uh we we have got quite wintry conditions still it's really really cold um but luckily the sun's been out today it feels like it's been around eleven degrees sort of thing um especially when you do sit in the sun you really do feel the heat and uh spring is definitely uh here yeah, I'd say almost hopefully yeah, a few more days of this sort of weather and uh pretty much all the waters hopefully will start to uh, get back into the swing of things so uh what I'm going to do next, I'll uh, see if the goals have uh, decided to leave in a little while, still around, but um, 
as soon as they go, put a, put a uh, kilo, on, kilo and a half, or maybe two kilo bait out, and uh, yeah, and I'll put each rod out after that. So uh, yeah, get on with things then. Okay, right guys, well it's now morning, um, in fact it's just going half seven now, um, been up since five o'clock so far, just watching the water, you know, um, it's very, very still out there, and uh, there was quite frost as well in the morning time, so uh, it was a chilly old night, um, here for a few more hours, here until ten o'clock, but, uh, or just before here, here until nine, more or less, the rods are going to be out, and I've got to pack up and uh, shoot off. But um, yeah, three night sessions so far, and uh, not a fishing site, so a bit gutting. But um, that's the way it goes, you know. At least the whole weather's coming out now. The sun's already out, which is a blinding thing, you know. Um, it's all been airfield back up again. So uh, always a positive indication that spring is finally here. So uh, hopefully it'll bring a few more fish out, and I'll uh, be back on the bank again soon. Uh, this week coming, in fact, I'll try and get back out again for a maybe a couple of day sessions or maybe another over an hour or two so uh, yeah see you again soon guys uh, cheers for watching and uh, good luck to everyone else that's going to be out on the bank <laughs>